All right, guys, welcome back to Abercadabra Adventures. We are at the New York port in Staten Island. Port Liberty, I believe it says. And the strike is on. It looks like they are hunkered in and ready to go. See all the workers up here and they've got all of their bottles of water, their chairs, and we got some NYPD sitting here keeping an eye on things. So we're gonna go up take a look here. Show you guys what's going on here in New York. New York Fort Liberty. And this is the port in Staten Island. Hey, you guys port workers? Anybody interested in talking? I'm uh, doing a report for YouTube. Okay. Thank you. How are you guys doing? Anybody interested in doing an interview? I'm uh, filming for YouTube. Okay. Trying to get your guys' point of view on stuff. I um, definitely support what you guys are doing. You gotta have fair wages for everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good luck with everything you guys are doing. Thank you. You're very welcome. So nobody wants to do any interviews. Doesn't look like anybody wants to talk. But they are definitely dug in here. Corporate greed versus workers' rights. Here we go, there's the scene from uh, the Port Authority in Staten Island. Machines don't feed families, support uh, LA workers. So what do you guys think? Drop some comments down below. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. So I believe if I read everything correctly, this is for better wages, more fairness to the workers. And I believe what I read was they start at $20 an hour. And after six years, their pay is capped. And I don't remember what exactly the rates were. I'll have to look that up again here in a minute. But they are trying to get higher wages, which is not what we all want. We all want to be able to support ourselves, make a decent living. And with the way the economy is these days, that just doesn't seem to be able to happen. So I understand what these guys want. I understand what they're doing. I just hope they can get it all figured out before it really puts our country into a deeper depression than what we're already in. So drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. This is going on all the way up and down the Atlantic coast and into the Gulf of Mexico. It, uh, 36 ports with 45,000 workers affected, I believe is what I was hearing. 
So I tried to get some people to do some interviews. Nobody wanted to talk with us. So just did a quick walk by, showed you guys what's going on here in Staten Island. So please don't forget to like and subscribe. Only takes a second. It's free. Helps us out. Thank you guys.